Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. Welcome to you know, Let's Play This Game if we really want to, that is. Hello, YouTube viewers and PlayStation Network members. Welcome to another edition of Let's Play This Game if we really want to, that is. We are going to play Double Dragon 4. So this is going to be pretty cool and stuff like that. So we're going to play the story mode. I don't know what the question mark thing is, but I'm thinking that after you beat the game, you get to play it again or whatever. Let's see, you can play two players against or with each other or against. Since I'm only one person um, and I have no people coming here, skip this. And of course, this is a way different than the other two. This one, you can't put credits, but you get five credits to start with. And of course, punching is square. Headbutt attack is basically circle button. There's not that much to say here, except for it's the size scrolling, stuff like that, you know. Not that many enemies this time. Like some guy, or you know, like some of these games, you know, like, now this kind of looks like sick, you know, like 8 bit graphics and stuff like that. Like I said in my Double Dragon videos and stuff like that, it's best to play this with two players. Any Double Dragon game you play, you might want to play with two players. But make sure you've got like team ups and stuff like that. I think I can I can't go this far. Joe kicked him. No Joe I don't know if I'm you see this is what scares me. Moving platform now, the can I tell you, the other games, the other Double Dragon games that I've been playing on my PlayStation 4, including this one, you know, like this one is Double Dragon 4. That's a, you know, this is like getting too easy. Oh, i seen this guy. And I cleared the, the first stage. Piece of cake. Wouldn't surprise me if that uses your energy level. Pick up the rock. Of course, uh, jumping is X button.
but this is yeah, this brings back the classic type of side scrolling. Yeah. Because it brings back the epic graphics and everything. Music's a little more advanced than the uh, Nintendo version. I think it was the Nintendo version of this game. I'm not sure. This guy is not going to come here. Got to go to him. That was a piece of cake right there. Cake walk! Oh shit. Oh, come on. Ah, come on! <laughs> Dumbass! The enemies are gotta be the stupidest piles of crap ever. The basically have the enemy just literally go, oops, I fell down the hole, is a joke. What kind of enemy basically goes down on, down on well, that's a stupid question. There's the uh, Koopas from the, from, uh, the, um, Super Mario Brothers series. Now we're on top of a train. Probably not gonna play too much of this because, you know, I could play this until I until I die. In the, you know, like in the game I Here you can actually get a good shot of each enemy coming out of this doorway. I keep punching. Unless they come on to the opposite direction of you, then you're in trouble. Oh, here comes a Bobo again. There's two of them. Oh, shit. To the third mission already. But if you want to be in a game faster, it's always better to play two players. Baseball bat, but yeah, it's a baseball bat. Boom, boom. Music system. One thing I like about this, yeah, you know, this double dragon game, 
is I can punch and kick in the direction I want. I think I'm going to end here. You know, I can stop at that. So until next time, I'll see you next time on the Let's Play This Game. If we really want to, that is. Until next time, bye-bye, everybody.